Hey, Tro. Can you make a graphic of those swing state poles today? Oh, uh, yeah, no, I got another assignment. Yeah, that's what you said the last three times I asked you to do this. I mean, this one's big. God, another poll. Which one is it now? Monmouth? CNN ORC? Gallup? Is Gallup even doing polls anymore? The Quinnipiac poll. He's winning in Florida, winning in Pennsylvania, Ohio he's tied. These are all the major battleground states, battleground polls. Am I crazy not to care like Steve does? This is a guy who has Ann Selzer on his speed dial. He tweets polling tables like they're cat videos. Among his pet peeves are people who don't understand margin of error. It's plus or minus percentage points, not percent. Anyway, she blew an eight point lead in Florida in a month. She's doing okay with Hispanics and women. Uh, I've been looking at the cross tabs, demographics, a thousand people with landlines and cell phones. America's rage, reduced to strongly agree, somewhat agree, somewhat disagree. An election boiled down to character traits. Half the people in Pennsylvania think Donald Trump is more trustworthy than Hillary Clinton. Steve isn't cheering for Trump or Clinton or anyone. He's cheering for what he likes to call the scientific art of approximating public opinion. He's still talking about our Bloomberg poll, something about college-educated white voters. Democrats haven't won that group in 50 years. Look I've thought about telling him this is a waste of time, that 300 million people's beliefs can't fit into a two-dimensional graphic. But at least Steve's easier to work with than the others. For now, anyway. That's all I mean. These are really interesting numbers if you just show them with the right graphic. Just make them easier to read than you did last time. I understand. I'll try harder. Thanks, man. Don't forget about that margin of error. Truth is, I shouldn't hate polls. They're not that boring. In fact, when I think about the really boring stuff, Sasha Eisenberg. Well, so, I mean, have you seen Hillary's new persuasion models? I mean, what they're trying to do is... Data they're analytics. They're randomly assigning voters to get different messages and seeing who actually moves, right? So, somebody could say that they're...